So the first dish that I'll be cooking today is uh, very simple, uh, very delicious. We have smoked salmon put together with, uh, with some golden beetroots, which I'll make into a, a vegetable ravioli. The ravioli is going to be filled with some of these beautiful uh, uh, leaves. I've got some wild garlic, some dandelion, uh, some baby chard, and this is a uh, little beach cabbage. Of course, if these aren't available to you, you can uh, substitute them with watercress and spinach and, and uh, other types of uh, tender cabbage. What I'm going to do is make a cream cheese with some lemon juice and some herbs also, and that makes a really nice creamy, almost like a sauce that goes inside the ravioli too. This is a golden beetroot. So again, if you can't get a golden beetroot, red beetroots are, are fine, or you can get candy stripes or white beetroots also. And I'm gonna bake this in the oven. I've got some bay leaf that I'm just gonna break, and uh, that gives me a little aroma. There's a little bit of thyme, small amount of olive oil on there, just a sprinkle of salt. Not too much, because I'm gonna season it all afterwards anyway. Make that into a, a small parcel. So that goes in the oven for about 45 minutes until the whole thing is really nice and tender. While it's in the oven, I'm gonna turn it two or three times just to make sure that it doesn't get hard or burn on any side. I'm taking a, a mandolin to slice some nice slices of it. So you've got these beautiful little layers of golden beetroot and they're gonna form the top and the bottom of our little parcels. And then got some cream cheese simply cream cheese and in here I've got some chervil and parsley but if you prefer something a little bit more aromatic you can put uh, some some basil in there or some coriander it's into the cream cheese I want it quite herby a puree of herbs too small amount of spinach to give it some body lots of parsley coriander and some tarragon also and all I've done is I've blanched those leaves in rapidly boiling water put them into cold water just to get cold just whisk them up in a food processor until they're nice and smooth. So that also will go into the cream cheese mix. Small squeeze of lemon juice, a little salt, and a few twists of pepper. And mix that till it's all mixed together and nice and green. I'm gonna put this into a piping bag so that I can make nice little mounds on the ravioli. Now I take of those nice vegetables, the vegetables and the herbs. 500 milliliters of water in there and um, 100 grams of unsalted butter and a small amount of Morgan salt going to blanch the leaves in that stock. So all those lovely leaves go in and they take about a minute to cook. Just make sure that the, the liquid isn't boiling too hard because you don't want to lose the color. Just a, another light squeeze of lemon juice on there, a drop of olive oil, a little salt, just a little bit and a twist of pepper. Arrange your beetroot slices on the bottom, scatter the herbs and the vegetables, and I take my, my smoked salmon, which has already been pre-sliced, so I've got it in nice little strips. A few nice dots of that lovely herb cream cheese. Just gonna layer the rest of those lovely vegetables across it too. I'm gonna finish that with the rest of the slices of beetroot. There you have baked golden beetroots with smoked salmon, herbs, vegetables, and a herb cream cheese. I think it's a delicious starter, very easy to put together, and beautiful to look at. I hope you enjoy your lovely Valentine's dinner.